What are you going to feed them? Scratch feed. Scratch feed. <laughs> <laughs> you all know what scratch feed is. No. Yeah, that's what I used to feed my chickens. Oh, you all have chickens? Right well, there? we used to. What? We had... I was really, they're all red. Rhode Island Rhode red. Rhode Island red. <laughs> yeah. I never had chickens before. <laughs> no, we had some white ones, too. What are the white ones? Now that little rooster is seven weeks old today, the one here in front. Oh, happy birthday. And he <laughs> has uh, a crest equal to a Polish, if y'all are familiar with Polish chickens. Come on, Nick. that they were what Nathaniel Hawthorne wrote about in his book, The House of the Seven Gables. Oh, that's, huh. the, that's the kind they were written. That's, that's the kind. And uh, I was obsessed by them. By Nathaniel Hawthorne? By these chickens. Oh, the chickens. <laughs> and I made great sacrifices to keep them, but um, everybody thought I was a little bit loony. <laughs> and they were probably right. <laughs> And uh, until my son married in January of 1966, you see that was then up in the summer after that when my wife got he and my son and his wife a great big Bible. But he is looking at the pictures and all of a sudden I was down in the kitchen, I heard him in the room where we sat, uh, that uh, said, well here's Pop's chickens. <laughs> And I didn't know what in the world to think. And I went right up there, and there's a copy of Carl Henry Block's pictures, first time I'd ever seen it in color. Oh. And uh, there certainly has been some improvement, but uh, uh, anyone should be able to recognize the color. Huh. And uh, that it was uh, what we call pensions today. Hmm. And uh, then... Uh, the, uh, when I wrote in to uh, Poultry Press about it, and I never had but one person that had any qualifications that didn't accept it. And she was a great breeder of the Hooden Bantam. And she said, well, it might have been a Hooden. But if you look right close at that painting, it has four toes. A Hooden has five toes. Hmm. And I assumed until, uh, well, it was spring almost. Thought too much and scared him. <laughs> well, now in the Bible, there was a picture. What was he? What was, you got to tell that part about it. I think That's it, what I was telling. I don't. Did you? Uh, Carl Henry Block. Yeah. The Danish artist that painted the picture. Well, I've done research on that since. Now, there's no doubt but what that Carl Henry Block and Nathaniel Hawthorne met about 1857, 58, because they were in the same place for two years. And a great writer, The Scarlet Letter, had just became an internationally famous book uh, just before he became ambassador to England. And uh, an artist over there, uh, they would have naturally wanted to meet. Mm -hmm. And uh, though if there's any written word about that, I am unaware about it at this time. Well, if I find something, I'll let you know. God bless you. How about the, <laughs> did you say that Peter's denial? How's did that? Did you mention the part? Did you mention uh, the part that the, they have a, a book up here. The kind of quote of Peter's denial. No, on the Isle did of Cyprus. Did you mention Cyprus. that part yet? No. That's the part you're supposed to mention. How the Isle of Cyprus, uh -huh. they were breeding this type of chicken uh -huh. before Columbus discovered America, and there was a picture that was painted at that time, that far back, a uh, copy of it in that paper. And that's what the chickens were? And that was very much like that. Hmm. And uh, Pretty cat. Well, the most important thing to Christian people about it is, I've traced where in the world that they could have had that. And it was in the ancient province of Oud, India. Hmm. And uh, uh, when, I, when I was a child, and it tells in the Bible about uh, the uh, 
Christ child and the wise men coming. Well, I just got the idea that the wise men saw that star and took out, got out like a bag of hands was after them and got thrown before daylight. <laughs> very, very different. <laughs> uh, now, the shepherds came and they knelt and worshiped Jesus in the manger. But when the wise men got there, the Bible says, in the house where he lay. So it might have been just before that he, they fled to Egypt with him and might have been up to two years. And you think the mode of travel that they had in coming all that journey, well, I've heard uh, uh, illustrations of when uh, preachers, maybe your preachers don't uh, make things so dramatic in their illustrations, but I remember hearing that long before I heard pensions telling about that the wise men and the party was coming through Russia and they came to an old peasant woman's cottage. They may be eternally lost because they have passed their time of salvation. And uh, now I've heard that and I'm sure that, uh, that the preacher that come over that had heard that from somewhere else before. And I wasn't glad that earthquake came in Armenia, but I was thinking that it might unearth a stone tablet telling about the truth of the wise men because the wise men would have had to come right through right where that happened. And uh, uh, how about the operetta of Amal and the Night Visitors? Now that's pretty good, but anybody that's intelligent and would stop to think a beggar boy that's crippled certainly would not have been permitted to join that troop and make that long journeys. And if they're right <laughs> 10,000 times, now that's been a decade or more or more, and I've never heard anybody call them Muslims before nor since.